Hello, Jordan. Uh, you probably answered this question in many ways, but I kind of find it overwhelming to see, to come across the kind of information that you and Daniel Schmachtenberger said, sort of release. It's, I find it hard to know what to do in the short term in terms of effective altruism, but also in the long term. As someone who's like 29, has a fairly clean slate in terms of the next 10 years, it's just, I, I was wondering if you could offer any guidance for, because it can seem quite overwhelming and also urgent, the kind of all the different threats that are going on that you guys talk about. So I was just kind of an open question. As can you yes, offer I can. Guidance? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think that the, the, we now are in a circumstance where some of the things that I have not been able to articulate effectively in the past can be articulated much more effectively. And that has to do with the fact that change is um, uh, strictly nonlinear. There, there are small amounts of change that happen during ordinary times and large amounts of change that happen during extraordinary times. Uh, I personally like to use the stoic Kronos Kairos distinction because I feel like it's a very rich mythopoetic way of talking about it. So in many ways, the, the appropriate movement is a movement of preparation and then surge or action. During the periods of Kronos, when time is moving at ordinary pace, you need to be engaging in upgrading your own capacities locally, the chains of trust that you've developed, um, your own sovereignty and ability to respond to what's happening, your own sense-making and discernment, be able to perceive reality. You, Kronos is a period of time to be able to, to prepare yourself to engage for when the, the, the storm has broken and the war is upon you. Kairos is the time to actually use those resources and move and make aggressive movements into the possibility space with all that you've put together. The inverse is an exercise in, in either wasted resources or magical thinking. Right? Many, many people endeavor to exercise Kairos action during Kronos time, and they can get very frustrated because they want to make big change. They see the big change needs to happen, and they try very, very hard to push that big, heavy boulder up the side of the cliff. But it's a very inefficient effort. And sometimes you must do it. Sometimes you have to do it, in which case, you know, I hope that you're successful. But broadly speaking, you'll be crushed under that effort. And therefore, it's not a model of saying, only do the work, right? No, it's do the work because the moment will come. And when the moment comes, then act. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The moment has come. So now it's time to say, okay, you've done the work. Let's hope you've done the work. Now start stepping into it. How much can be built now when the energy is available and open? Um, somebody actually sent me a, a very interesting query uh, directed to the men. Men, um, look around you. Look at your friends, your male friends. And this, by the way, could be elders as well as youngers. Who among them would you feel very comfortable marrying your daughter? Who among them would you be very comfortable covering your back in a fight where people were going to die? Who among them would you entrust the, the tutelage or the raising of your son if you die? If the answer is none of them, you done fucked up. Better fix it. If you got a lot of them, then you're ready to move. You've got a team. Because that's the kind of stakes. That's the way to feel into it. If you've got a strong, immediate sense of that answer, if you could just Im imagine in your mind a, a friend of yours and be able to ask those three questions and just nod, yep, I don't even know why I can say yes, but it's there. It's very clear and very easy. Then you are a tuned instrument. You are now prepared to be put to use. That's it. Like as simple as that. Now, from that point, start looking around for those people. Gather them around you. Among them, begin to discover what is yours to do collectively. What can you do? Where are you? It could be anything. You know, there's people doing all kinds of stuff right now. You can be figuring out things that are very, very local. Worst case scenario, just make sure that you and your own are very well taken care of. Because if things get very bad, you don't want to be making choices out of fear. You know, and I don't know about everybody else on this call, but I noticed that there was a period of time where everybody kind of had to unstuck themselves from complacency and being in a, in a bad spot to getting into a place of some level of security. I actually called it bucket one. When I was calling people, I was like, hey, what bucket are you in right now? I need you to be in bucket three. Where are you? Oh, you're in bucket one. All right, well, you know, finish driving and picking up your mom and dad and bringing, coming out to the farm and making sure you got food and water. Call me when you've got your shit together. And by the way, now you're in bucket two. Bucket two is you're solid. If you've kind of done whatever you needed to do to transition to a state of readiness for the environment that you're in, but now you're looking around. What is the thing that I need to be doing? Generally speaking, that's kind of a tactical mindset. And it may be that bucket two is where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a tactical location. There's holes for you to dig. There's code for you to write. And there's things for you to do that your hands are on right now. Bucket three is a strategic disposition. 
You know, you're actually in a situation where the fire's on the ground. You're able to actually step back from the things that are going on and look around, either because that's your position in the environment or because it's your natural disposition. But you can start looking around and saying, okay, what are the questions that need to be asked in the context that we're in? How do I ask these questions and how do I come to create context where I can actually begin to answer these questions in a way that is appropriate to the scope of what we're dealing with? I can go into more detail on that if you'd like. Again, I think we should come back to it. I think one, one thing that uh, people might want to ask is, does that apply to, to women as well? Or what's the... What's the Don't know. I'm not a woman. I hope, I, hope, I hope there's a good answer to that question. That could be a good inquiry. What's the similar thing for, for the questions that, that a woman might want to ask right now? Because I think- I, I expect that that is an extraordinarily powerful inquiry. And once it is fully discovered, things will change meaningfully for the better. Mm.